Hey, what's up guys? Just was Boots here. Welcome back to another Digimon video. Uh, today I have another gameplay video for you guys. Uh, this is from the store championship in Eindhoven. Uh, I did record the entire event, well, or at least every round I recorded one match. And in the first round we have Chris who won the last store championship uh, here with Blue Flare playing, yes, Blue Flare on the left. Against my friend uh, Matthijs who was playing Minerva Mon. Uh, he won the row here, so he's gonna start hatching Demi Mera and even to Gabu. So, you know, if he follows it up with Icemon, that's pretty much uh, what you want. Not Icemon though, but going for an analog youth here and adding the Psychomon to his hand, putting the Kerbosmon in Grave, which is um, one of the key parts that you need to get off the Minerva combo. Chris opening with Gaussmon and Sora and Joe here, so pretty decent start as well. Depending on what it, what's in his hand. And we actually see Matthijs uh, having the Ice Mon now. So evolving into it. And going for the security check. Let's see if it has jamming. And it does not. Hitting into Decker. Grey one I think it is. And now he's got to draw uh, 6 cards. And this card. Uh, 4 in total. So you know really setting up that trash. Discarding loot, loot someone here. As well as Werewolf mode. So he already has access to um, all the graveyard pieces. He might <laughs> need for the rest of the game. Actually. Um, Matai is always playing purple, he topped the uh, London Regional with Mastemon as well, and now he's on Minerva Mon. I think this is one of the best decks, but it's just so hard to pilot, like, um, you have to be really, really good at it to um, get off good results with the deck. Oh, he has the Ice one here, and uh, he already has a Scatter Mode in Trash, so you know, pretty strong going into that Werewolf Mode there, and uh, potentially setting up for Minerva Mon playing next turn. Gilesmon is gonna swing, getting rid of the source from uh, the werewolf mode, drawing card with Upa, but then hitting into Dead or Alive, and uh, the Dead or Alive is, I think, probably going to bring back the Lucemon, and then it's going to pop the Soranjo. Yeah, exactly what's going to happen. Uh, so, pretty unlucky, you really want the Gilesmon to die in the blue flare deck to get access, uh, or to get cheap access, I should say, to your uh, big blue flare guys, or the level 4s, and then playing another Soranjo. Mata is going to hatch Demi Mera here. Going to swing with the Kerberos Mon hitting into what's it called? Real Victory. The one that bounces a uh, 5 cost. Which is going to bounce the Lusamon to hand. Which I think is, uh, seems like a good play since that means that um, it won't be easy to get it back from the trash. So it, where it, uh, you know, it can delete things. Mata is going to follow it up by evolving into the Gabu Mon. Just digging a little bit deeper into the deck to see if he can uh, get to one of his combo pieces. To be honest, I think Chris is pretty unlucky here anyway because uh, this matchup is just very rough because the purple deck plays a lot of, uh, you know, it's based on a card with Rush and, you know, you can't really stun a card with Rush since it comes out on your opponent's turn. Um, kind of missed uh, Matthijs. He played a Jax Raid here for uh, for nothing since he had 9 cards in Trash, but he played it so he could play the second Jax Raid um, with 10 cards in Trash, gaining 1 memory so you could memory choke Chris. By going into the Minerva Mon. Uh, once again going to... Ah, oh, this is super unlucky. Going to swing, get strip the source, draw a card. But then, again, the Gauss Mon doesn't get leaked. But instead hits Jack Raid. Uh, hits Jack Raid. And then, uh, you know, it means that's going to be Matthijs' turn. Before Chris can do anything else. Minerva Mon going to swing here. Hitting into the Decker Dramon. And then, uh, yeah. So this is basically the combo the deck revolves around. Uh, going to play the... Revive from Darkness, bring out Kerberos Mon. Uh, on play effect don't trigger, but that's fine because Minerva's effect, Minerva Mon's effect will trigger, uh, bringing out the Werewolf mode. Uh, and the on play will trigger, so Matthijs will gain uh, 9 memory after paying 4, so you know, netting him um, basically 5 memory in total, and then also bring out a guy with Rush, so going for an additional attack. And uh, it actually doesn't die to security here, hitting into the Decatramon, which is 5k, I think. So looking pretty good, Icemon going to swing here, uh, no jamming, so again getting all those draws and discarding all those cards. And now uh, we'll just have to see if there is another way to go get to, uh, for example, another Werewolf mode or maybe uh, Gingakumon promote, which is also in the deck. Uh, we'll see, I guess, going to discard some cards here like Devimon and Lugu with another scatter mode, I think. Uh, let's see, Minerva Mon, and then if he has the Revive from Darkness, he's go just going to be able to do the exact same play again, and that's uh, going to be a less security check uh, than if he has it, of course. Instead, going to uh, Deathclaw, delete the Gaiosmon, and then, uh, yeah, since the Minerva Mon is deleted, 
Werewolf mode is going to come out and whatever crystals is really not relevant because the Werewolf mode is going to be able to swing for a game. So yeah, pretty uh, decisive game one there. But to be honest, Chris was super unlucky hitting the Dead or Alive and then the Jax raids um, in a row of the Gaios one. Let's see if he can actually get his the ball rolling in the second game. Going to evolve to the V1 over the Upamon here and then playing the Blaze Memory Boost. So Matthijs will be starting off on 5 memory. However, we do see Chris hitting... Uh, yeah, he hits uh, all the targets he might want. Another boost, Greymon and uh, the Kyria. And we did see cards like uh, Rattle Star and what's it uh, called? Like Crystal Crystal Storm, is that it? So we see Chris playing a lot of like security bomb uh, cards. Cards that out stuff. Once again, then Mera into Gabumon on the right side of things. And then um, going to the blocker Devimon for one cost. Chris will be going to three anyway, so. We might see something like, um, yeah, hard play ice one and then a rookie. Yep, and that's <laughs> that's exactly what we see. The Gasimon being uh, pretty good here, since you know the basic memory boost on the field. However, um, putting two Digimon up against Blue Flare um, can be a little bit troublesome, since a lot of their effects will trigger once you have uh, four Digimon or a uh, two or more Digimon in play. Uh, sorry about the glare here. Can't really quite make out what the Greymon is revealing. Uh, we see Mill Birdramon for sure. And then I think Mantis is holding Metal Greymon, I think. And he's going to add Gylesmon and um, Decker Greymon uh, to his hand. The Devimon is going to come out here. One memory to work with, so we won't be seeing any of those super powerful Minerva Mon shenanigans uh, quite yet. Instead, we see Icemon going down to uh, Metal Greymon. Draw 3, discard 2. Such a crazy effect, right? <laughs> it's like uh, pr probably just the best Digimon card there is, to be honest. Uh, just by itself. I'm going to discard Lilithmon here. That nice alt art. And one other card. But probably uh, Kerbal's one is already in Grave. So maybe not Werewolf mode because he will probably need to evolve into that and then go into the Minerva one if he wants to get up the loop at some point. Um, lose someone discard would be nice, but I assume he already would have discarded it if it was in the hand. So yeah, we're going to discard the Gaumon here. Probably not quite having uh, the perfect hand. I assume. Uh, and yeah, evolve into the Werewolf mode and then uh, Kyria will put Chris to 3. Going to hatch Upamon there after the draw. Mm, two Digimon on the side of uh, Matthijs, so you know, blue flare stuff could definitely be happening. Chris is going to get another draw from the Upamon, and then... Um, you know, Jamming Human survives, and Crimson actually also survives. I don't think it would have really mattered, since it could have just uh, done safe. We see Rio Victory there, bouncing back the Werewolf mode, and now Matthijs is really, really far behind. Two security left, and uh, Chris will have three attacks next turn. Potentially. Um, Matthijs could run over the Vimon though with the Gazimon. And then if he doesn't play out two Digimon. Uh, I don't think Chris will be able to do the necessary checks. Unless he has um, Metal Greymon and the, the red uh, the structure that Greymon in his hand of course. Since then it can just uh, check to uh, security and that the Gaussmon could potentially attack for game. But we'll see. Matthijs has evolved into Psychemon in raising... Doing a little thing here. Going to another Devimon. Not quite what he wants to see, I imagine. And then... Uh, I feel like he has to do the, the, the Gassibon attack over a Vimon, right? Like, or this works as well, I guess. <laughs> this is slightly better since it means that, uh, you know, it will actually... Um, not crash, but... The ice one will survive, and then potentially when it gets deleted next turn, uh, stuff can happen. And it will kind of force Chris to attack over the ice mon. Sorta. I guess if he wants to pre uh, prevent a check for some reason. And then, yeah, he goes into the wheel of raising. So, unless there is like. Um... Oh, actually, it doesn't really matter. If there's a metal Grimm, this should be game anyway. And uh, it does look like that. So yeah, Grimm going to swing over or into the Dev X. 
Gauss hitting Matt. Matt is going to be adding something. Not sure if it's relevant because, again, if Chris can just go into uh, metal gray, then um, it will be game. But actually, looking at the hand, it seems like there is no metal gray in Chris's hand. Um, so yeah, Matt is going to add back the Psychemon. Chris is going to pop the boost. Go to 5 and play uh, Mio Birdramon. Suspended for some reason. He adds back the Metal Greymon from Grave since, uh, you know, he can do that. Because Kyria's in play. Then plays out the Madoki. No, I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure the Mio Birdramon should just be in... Um, should just be unsuspended. But I think Chris is so used to playing it with the Gauss 1 effect that he accidentally put it suspended like that. Uh, we'll see if it ends up mattering. Ice one is going to uh, jamming swing <laughs> in the security here into the Vimon. Matthijs really does have to do a lot here to um, get back to the game. But to be honest, like if he uh, has X2 Minerva Mon and Revive from Darkness, potentially um, the entire field could. Be That's pretty strong. Last game we had Matthijs with the Daryl Alive and the Jax Raid, and now we have Chris with Double Ray of Victory. Victory Ray? Whatever it's called <laughs> in security. And then Matai is going to Death X here, but you know, um shouldn't really matter because if Gauss one brings out anything that's still game regardless. Uh, but we'll see, maybe there's no target. Hmm? We'll see, we'll see. And but if if there is Matai has no security left, so uh, it will just, you know, unsuspend during the unsuspend phase and then attack for game. And it will be Dectromon, so you know. Uh tying it up for a one one score. Go to the final game, I assume. Uh, Matthijs is going to make Chris start. And... Does he... Um, going to start with Blazing Memory Boost once again. I think he also started with that last game, right? He does hit Kira and double targets, so that's nice. He's going to add the Deck Drummon and uh, Gaussmon. Matthijs hatching Demimera. Evolving to Elecmon, which is like a nice out to uh, memory blockers, for sure. And then evolving to Icemon for two. Still three memory to work with. Um, something like a... No... P -p -p -p. We'll see what he comes up with. I was thinking about like some memory choke plays, but... Chris has the Kyria, so... Not that relevant. Going to unlock you here, milling Death X. Icemon and Minervamon, which he adds to the hand, and then going to hard play Matt, adding the Icemon to the hand. So pretty nice um, combo there. Chris evolving to the Gaussmon, and then playing another Blazing Memory boost, uh, hitting plenty of targets here. We see the Kumamon, uh, but he's going to add Metal Greymon and Greymon to his hand, of course. So he does have some nice setup here, Chris, that is. But again, like, this matchup is rough for Blue Flare. Even, like, if you can do the entire crazy stuff where you stun, like, your opponent's entire board, it doesn't, it literally just doesn't matter. It doesn't really do anything. Since the Minerva Mon can just, you know, go calling from darkness, bring out the Kerbus, gain five memory, have a guy with rush attack, and then, you know, play from there. Um... Rough matchup. Uh, we see Icemon not having jamming this time. Going to draw three, discard two, one of them being Icemon, and then after that he's going to be able to do Demimera and discarding Cerberus. So going for some nice setup there for um, when we inevitably get to the Minerva Mon loop gameplay. Another Werewolf mode. I don't think there is a regular Cerberus mode in the trash yet, but I could be wrong. But yeah, going to play Gazi here, which is uh, Definitely very strong, going to keep Chris from popping those double boosts for the 4 memory. Gaussman going to swing, hit in Psyche. Draw from Upa, and then uh, bring out Dectron, which is going to net him three more, tra uh, three more draws. One for himself, and then one for each of Matthijs' Digimon. And then Metal Gray is going to come out here. Digicals with Gamon and Milbird. So, yeah, he's going to be able to stun like uh, Matthijs' entire field twice. So, not going to be really relevant, but the Metal Grey is going to be able to do two checks. Um, and, you know, stun on uh, on play, and then with Mill Bertramon he can stun again. Which is not relevant, but he can, he can. 
yeah, we'll see if he's going to go for the double check. Kind of uh, go for that pressure. He's not though he's going to into to Decker Graymon. He's going to be able to put something underneath with its effects. Chris is explaining the, the fact that to Matthijs there. I'm going to put, put another Milbert Ramon. So, you know, potentially next turn he can, uh, you know, uh, stun both Digimon again. They are both stunned at this point. We'll see, we'll see where this goes. I mean, Nervamon coming down there. Go for the draw of the Evolve. Will we see a calling from darkness? We do not. We just see Psychemon, which is uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Psychemon definitely very strong against uh, Blue Flare. You know they really they are very reliant on the Metal Greymon. They really are, and uh, if they have to play for seven. I guess in this case, since he has double uh, boost, he could, if it were not for Gazimon. So yeah, Forbidden Trying coming down here, which is very nice, because um, it actually outs uh, stuff like the Memory Blocker and um, Psychemon. And it's especially nice if your guy can swing twice, because the effect is not once per turn. So as we see here, he's going to be able to bounce both the little guys, because he's going to swing twice. However, Decker Greymon going down to the Lucemon and Security. But it has an armor perch, so Metal Gray stays on the field. And then Decker Drummon going to um, also swing to security. And then save under Kyria. And eventually Chris passes turn by playing Sora and Joe. So probably not much to do there. Um, even with both the memory boosts, probably no more Metal Greymon and, you know, enough. Um, and another Greymon or something like that. I can imagine maybe if his Metal Greymon actually would have been deleted, then he could have done a material save. And then maybe if, if he had another Metal Greymon, that would have been the... No, it wouldn't, because Matthijs didn't have two. Did you want on field? Regardless, we're going to uh, see some insane memory gain here. Uh, gain six, I think, in total. One from Analog Youth, and then five from the... You know, Revive from Darkness, Cerberus Mon, Cerberus Mon, Werewolf Mode uh, play... So Mata is going up to nine memory. Um, yeah, Cerberusmon here is going to swing over the Metal Greymon. Definitely fair enough. Material save two. Put him under Soran Joe. Dead four. Oh, going to put the Greymon under Kira instead. Don't think it's that relevant. I mean, it could be since you know Lucemon is in the deck. Uh, but yeah. Minerva coming down, as well as Gabumon digging some deeper into the deck to see what options there are. I mean, this deck, again, I already mentioned it, but this deck is so hard to play. There's so many options, and, you know, if it goes off, it's 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 crazy. It's really insane. Super, super fun, in my opinion. Uh, probably, like, the only real combo deck there is in the game right now. I think... I guess Broomlord could also be considered a little bit of a combo deck. Um, so we see Back for Revenge... On the Minerva, I assume, which means if the Minerva is going to be deleted, which it is by Calling from Darkness, it's going to be able to um, be brought back. But yeah, Calling from Darkness is going to be adding to one of them being the Ice one and the other one, the Werewolf mode, I think. And then Minerva is going to bring back Lucemon. And then uh, Calling from Darkness is going to bring back the Minerva. Right, right. And the Lucemon popped the Kira. Shutting off. Any potential Digicross shenanigans next turn. Um, but yeah, once again, we see the Revive from Darkness doing the thing. Um, bring out the Ice Mode. Con <laughs> really seeing the, the cards that are at 1 in the purple deck. Um, showcasing why they are at 1, both the Ice 1 and the Calling from Darkness. Gengaku coming down, so going for another check. But that's also being pretty lucky that the, the Werewolf Mode is uh, surviving all these checks each time. Then again, Blue Flare doesn't really play that many big Digimon, if any, to be honest. Like, but we do know that Chris is playing a lot of um, bounce cards in security. And another Minerva. So at this point, I think we just need two more uh, Revive from Darkness, then it will be game. 
because the Gazi one can also still attack. But we'll see where it goes, I guess. And there we see, uh, it's not Revive from Darkness, but it is Deathclaw, which is going to trigger Minerva, bringing out uh, Kerberos uh, Mon, and then we knew that Matthijs has the Weir of Mode in hand, which he's going to hard play here, and then uh, draw to discard one, hit into Doki Beta. I'm sorry about the angle, guys. Uh, it's a little bit too close. The matches after this were films like with uh, the entire playmat in uh, where you could see that, but this uh, this one was a little bit too close. I and then Minerva into uh, Revive from Darks, and that is a game, a uh, very very good game, I think, very well played by both players. To be honest, uh, yeah, GG.